Today's boys and girls, we are going to rebuild, or not rebuild, but we are going to see if the Argentinian national team can win or how far they can get in the Premier League in one season. Uh, so we're definitely going to sell almost all these players and then we are going to buy these players right here and put them in the squad and see how far they'll go. We have some pretty old ones like Messi, Angel Di Maria and uh, Otamendi and Di Paul. I don't know where he is. Di Paul. Uh, he's right here. Oh, he's. I actually thought he was uh, older, but it uh, doesn't matter. We still have some old people in the squad and um, let's see how they will do. So I'll just sell some players and then I'll put this guy in. So uh, see how far they go. And here we have him, boys. I don't know what happened, but I just um, oh Messi in draws, but uh, I just gave him a a wage budget of like not a wage budget, but a wage uh, you know of uh, fifteen million and three hundred thousand a week, right? And then this boy tries to make it to fifteen million four hundred thousand. What 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 is he on? I mean, like, it's not even because he's he's my main player. I just swapped him for Erling Braut Holland. But have a look at this. The wage is fifteen point four million dollars. What on earth? What what is he doing? I don't know. But boys and girls, we have now done it. We have assembled the entire squad here. If we, we. Um, if we go straight into it here, we have Makalista. Okay, let's have a look at the, squad, uh, the bench. We have Correa, we have Alvarez, we have Makalista, we have Dybala, we have Martinez, Acuna, Martinez, Otamendi, Molino here up at right mid, otherwise, he would, yeah. Rodriguez, Enzo, Fernandes, Di Paul, Di Maria, Martinez, and Messi. Probably we should switch them around. And Messi, so um, it's oh, I would say it's looking pretty good, boys. Uh, I'll just put some development plans on these boys, and then I'll see you guys when something interesting happens. So, boys and girls, we're already in September or October, I believe, and then I have to show you guys that I don't know what happens in this squad, mate. I don't know what on earth is happening. But apparently we lost the first game to uh, to Sevilla, and then we had a draw with FC Copenhagen. So now hopefully we can um, we can get this back, you know, back on track. Uh, let's see if we have if Molino can change his position. Be very interesting if he can. Let's see if we can find him. Yes, can he? Yes, he can. Boom. Then we're just going to train him to be a left wing back, just because we need him to go up in rating, you know. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can win against Borussia Dortmund without doing anything. Can we? No, we cannot. Nice. Nice. So uh, this would be very interesting if we are getting knocked out of the the Champions League without even without even trying. They they say they want us to win the Champions League and get 20 wins and stuff like that. So hopefully it doesn't matter if we're getting grouped. But uh, I'll skip some more days forward and I'll see you guys. So boys and girls, we are now here in the make it or break it game. Hopefully Sevilla wins over Borussia Dortmund, uh, but I guess we'll never know, but uh, I'll take this pre-match conference then. I'll take it. Just answer some few questions because I want the team to be happy. The team will to be happy because it's not looking that great right now. Um, it's very interesting. Let's have a look here. I'm feeling confident. Come on now. So it's the make it or break it game here for uh, Manchester City to see if they can get in the Champions League or if they are getting grouped so let's quick simulate this and see if we win over FC Copenhagen we lost to FC Copenhagen that means we finished last 
in the in the Champions League. What does that mean? That does mean we have to qualify for 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 a Conference League or what? I don't know, but we'll have to see. So boys and girls, let's have a throwback to what happened this season. First of all, we won. Uh, against Liverpool, pretty good. We won against West Ham and Arsenal and had a draw against Chelsea. Right there, we would say it's where we normally play at in the, the, the level. And uh, then we up against Leicester, and we won. And then, unfortunately, we lost in the Champions League to Sevilla and had a draw against FC Copenhagen. We lost to Borussia Dortmund, we lost to Chelsea, we lost to Aston Villa. We had a lose to Nottingham Forest. And Liverpool, we lost to FC Copenhagen again, and then we won against Brighton, Everton, Leeds, uh, Tottenham, Southampton, and Tottenham. So, our manager rating is not looking that great at the moment. But um, who's playing left mid here? Who the fuck is playing left mid? Dybala, okay, and or Julian Alvarez, and then Mac. Alistair, he's probably playing instead of Rodriguez, maybe, or Molina. I don't believe there's some of these guys who is playing here. And Correra sometimes plays before Molina here. Why is Molina not happy? We have to go over contracts now. And then, um, funny enough, the club's now worth 6.5 billion dollars. This is um, it's pretty decent, I would say. It's not, it's not like the greatest we have ever accomplished, but um, I would say. It's pr it's pretty decent. And have a look at who he ah. cannot do that with uh, this guy. Then we have to look at the contracts like this. You new contract to you. Everybody who needs a new contract, you you need one. Go 35k. That's unbelievable. Let's see. Uh, when I have done. This. I don't believe there's anyone who isn't happy with that contract. Let's have a look at Dybala. I was just about to say, if he says that he doesn't get paid enough money, I don't know. He getting paid 15 million. If I had to release this player, too many players have been released. Nice. He, he makes in, in a week or in a month, he makes about what he's worth. He could buy himself with a month's wage. With a month's salary, it's called. I'm sorry, boys. But then... Um, I would say it's going pretty good right now. Sign at least two young players. Nope. Get 20 wins this league. We are gonna do that. Expand the club within in Europe. I don't know what that means. But nice. And uh, we did not win the cup. We got grouped. And then. Um, yeah. And we just have to win the league. Um, so. I will see you guys when something interesting happens. So boys and girls, we have a pretty big, big, pretty, pretty big game here up against Manchester United. It's the Manchester derby here, and they can see they have Cancelo, De Gea, Varane, Orban, Dalot, Casemiro, Fernandes, Fred, Mares, uh, Sancho, and Iglesias. Um, so this one determines if we're gonna end in third place, not end in third place, but because we only February, but you know what I mean. And it's a draw. Okay, interesting. Dybala scored and Messi scored, so it's a pretty good thing that we switch on Dybala instead of Di Maria. Even though he played a very good, very good uh, Champions, uh, not Champions League, the World Cup final. But then um, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Then we have a game against Liverpool. Oh, it's the last one. So uh, let's jump straight into the cup right here because it is really important that we win the cup or we are getting fired which is not great because pop pep guardiola he needs oh my god we lost three 0 to the arsenal you see that's not great that's really not great so hopefully we win against preston here we should because we have some pretty big games coming up here so let's just go in against preston what do they have they have maguire at the striker what and what what Hopefully it's not that McGuire. But we should get a win here. Yeah, it's a 2-0. Messi scored and Messi scored. Messi. I, I was just about to say the GOAT, but he is not. Ronaldo is the GOAT, of course. Uh, so we made it out of round of 
the, the round five, the fifth round here. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when there's more big games coming up. So, boys, it is now, it's getting interesting. We have six points up to Liverpool and only three points to Manchester United and four points to Chelsea and five points to Spurs. So, this could very much go wrong but hopefully it doesn't so let's see if we can knock out Chelsea it's a it's a draw that's not what we wanted boys it's not what we wanted now we have we what, what we have played one more game than Liverpool right let's have a look they also play no oh, we have eight points up to Liverpool hopefully they can lose some games now all of these should be very easy probably the cup against Everton we need to win but it should be very easy. If we can win 4-0 over them by simulating, we can definitely win over them. Uh, by by just going in there and just see what, what team they're using. So it's, it's going to be very interesting now, boys. Hopefully that Liverpool has, has lost, lost some games here. Or we're going to end second. Hopefully we don't. The morale on the squad is not that great. But hopefully they can do something and beat Everton. Can they do it? 1-0 Lautaro Martinez Oof. It was a close one It was a close one But uh, we managed to pull it off boys And we are now in the final Up against Chelsea Oh no 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 So it's very important that we win this this final here um, Let's see when is it It's right here In May And we are not in Europe Oh conference league But I don't know Oh no Up against Nottingham Forest We lost to them once but we're not going to lose to them twice so let's have a look here Chelsea we have two big games coming up now boys we have we are up against Chelsea here and we are up against Liverpool in the next one I'm just going to take this press conference here because um, to get the morale boosted on the squad it's a massive game it's a it's a final here not at all we don't have any special plans we're just gonna win we've taken lessons from that game come on now and the main season seems been very very in and out lately. We don't know what to expect from this game to game. But I can tell you the boys are working hard, man. I can tell you, trust me, they're going to win the FA Cup. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can they win the FA Cup? Oh Kulibali and Laporte and Sterling doesn't have and Sitches. Sitch also doesn't have much uh, energy, but Messi and Dybala also doesn't have but I think we should manage to get a win here yes Lautaro Martinez scores again so this means we win the FA Cup which is pretty good but now let's have a look here where did we finish in the league we still have one big game to play against Liverpool and we are six points behind them it's because we lost two games and they only uh, we lost two more games than they did so hopefully, if they can lose to whatever team they have left and we can win, I think we should we, sh we should be able to put it off here. But uh, I'm, I'm not so sure about that one. But let's just get straight into it. They have Ruben Diaz, Van Dijk, Alisson, Robertson, Fabinho, Chago, Jota, Diaz. Liverpool is just a great, te great team in it. We win! Julian Alvarez gets in instead of Dubala and gets us the dub, right? Nice boys, hopefully Liverpool can lose the last game. That could be very great, then we could probably win the league. Oof. It all comes down to if Liverpool is going to lose now. It all depends on it. We have one game against Southampton here. Just before, it's probably I'm probably getting fired after this if we don't if Liverpool hasn't done anything, but um Let's have a look here. Oh my god, I just dropped my controller. Lionel Messi, 29 goals and 10 assists. Impressive. Lautaro Martinez, 23 and 5. Impressive. Julian Alvarez, 8 and 4. It's, it's okay. You you a substitute. It's, it's pretty decent for a substitute. Dybala, 7 and 11. Nice. Acuna, 6 and 3 from left back. Pretty good. 6 and 3 from a center mid, not that great, could be more. Korea uh, as a sub on 6 goals and 1 assist, nice. Di Paul here, actually 5 and 13, that's also pretty decent. And Di Maria, I'm sorry to say, boy, but you played 25 games and only managed to get 4 goal contributions. 
but then it's not that great. But this guy, oh, he grew by two. And, oh, well, I would say he's, he's pretty decent. I would say he's pretty decent. Oh, shit. We have many young players loaned out, mate. We have Herrera. We have Stefan. We have Howard. Because we have Kabore. We have Doyle. T-Lab. T-Lab. Ah, Mbete, Fiorino, Trafford, Stevanovic. Stevanovic and all these players here. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Ake also played unfortunately 28 games, but it is what it is. It is what it is, boys. Now let's get into it and let's win the league. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can. So, it all depends on if we're gonna win and Liverpool going to lose. We won 4-1. I'm crossing my fingers right now, boys. Did Liverpool lose the last game of the season? It doesn't look like they did. They did not. They had a draw. No. Boys. We needed one more point. Or actually two more points. But. Oh my god. So let's have a look. Who managed to get the. Who was the goal, top goal scorer? Okay. We have. We have it. Salah. 23. Not 33 goals in 38 matches. What? It's impressive. Gabriel Jesus, former Manchester City player, 26 and 36 games. Sterling, former Manchester City player, 22 goals in 38 matches. Oh, oh, it's not great, boys, but it is what it is. We came second. It's pretty good. I, I wouldn't. I wasn't expecting them to win the FA Shield Cup. And what about the FA Cup? We also managed to win that one, the Carabao Cup. We did not win that one. Where, where did we get out of this? We lost to Chelsea. Yeah, that's right. So, boys, we um, we managed to this season get, what, like two trophies? The Community Shield and the FA Cup, I believe. Was, well, am I right? Yeah, the Community Shield and the FA Cup. So, what's that? Like two trophies. We got knocked out in the group stage by Sevilla, FC Copenhagen and Dortmund. And we came second in the Premier League. So I would say it's a it's a dub season here boys it's a dub season we can see that all these players has also grown quite a bit if we're going in here have a look at the market value you can see Martinez has grown quite a bit oh, oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm a bit sleeping right now he has also grown a bit this guy has grown by almost 90% no, 90% in market value 9% market value even though he lost one rating 28 46 1 9 24 20 43 62 Mac alex mcallister impressive okay yeah stuff like that so i would say it's a pretty pretty good season all of players have grown quite a bit it's been it's been a good season i would say boys uh it's been a good rebuild even though it wasn't a rebuild but uh, it's been a, it's been fun to try out mate and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this this um what can you say uh, extra uh, extra video here on wednesday because uh, normally i don't put out on wednesday but uh, i thought it is christmas time and i thought you guys would like uh, to see this kind of uh, kind of uh, video so um yeah it's just a short video here and leave a like boys and subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys there will come one more video of these kind of videos uh, which is not rebuilds uh, in the Christmas time and maybe before the New Year's but uh, we'll see boys I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye